हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर कुशल कुमार एन कुरानी फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज पी के ठाकुर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज ऑटोनोमस न्यू पनवेल टुडे आवर सब्जेक्ट इज लॉजिस्टिक्स एंड सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट एंड आवर टॉपिक वी विल बी डूइंग इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट सो विल गो ऑन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड फर्स्ट वी विल सी द मीनिंग ऑफ सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट सप्लाई चेन इज अ नेटवर्क ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हैविंग लिंकेजेस बोथ अपस्ट्रीम and downstream different activities and processes that produce and deliver goods and services to the ultimate customer supply chain consists of all the stages that are required to satisfy the customer's requests it starts with the supplier and passes through the manufacturer wholesaler retailer and finally reaches the customer as we know uh, today the market is completely digital or online sitting at one place you can order anything and everything you can start from furniture electronics food vegetables everything can be ordered online for instance amazon is there flipkart is there big basket is there or you can uh, take your uh, uber ola app everything is online only thing is sitting at one place you can order anything and everything now we don't know what is happening at the back end who is actually providing these goods so there is a big chain starting from manufacturer then your retailer is there and finally it is the customer we can see the image on the left hand side raw materials are there then uh, manufacturing part is there and finally the goods are delivered to the customer so you can see we have to get the right quality and quantity of raw materials from the right vendor then we have to convert it into semi finished goods or finished goods and finally we have to deliver it to the customer as per the demand from the market so there is an entire chain which is happening at our back which we are not able to find now the next slide is about three flows of supply chain management first is product flow now when we go online when we open any app we can see different types of products which are available now in this product you can check the type of product the specification of product the price of product and most importantly you can compare it with other products from other apps then information flow information is about the product on one hand and about the customer on the other hand when you download any app you have to give your own information your personal details to the company and when you are buying anything you will also check about the product that is the price of the product the quality of the product the quantity and sometimes we also check the reviews of the product which is given by previous customers and finally financial flow this is the credit worthiness of the customer as we know that all the companies are doing business for making profit so finance plays a very important role in any organization or any business the end result should be profitable now next we will be heading towards objectives of supply chain management first is to maximize the overall prof profitability now in this case there are two things in logistics first is to maximize overall profitability and second is to minimize the cost now how can you maximize overall profitability initially when we start business we have to spend lots of money it will be more expensive for any organization till the setup is happening but at a later stage we don't have to spend money on all those things so at a later stage the company will start making profit initially the cost will be very high but at later stage the cost will start coming down so for any organization other than wealth creation profitability is also one of the objectives second is enhancing customer service how you can provide better customer service as compared to your previous service you have to keep on improving your customer service because at end of the day we have to provide better customer service if the customer is one customer is happy he will give a good review and he will tell 10 more customers about our company or about our service because products are easily available but service it varies from company to company and we know today's market is a buyers market it is not a sellers market if we are not providing the product or service customer will go to our competitor any time next three points are about cost 
रेड्यूस इन्वेंट्री कॉस्ट रेड्यूस वेयर हाउसिंग कॉस्ट एंड रेड्यूस ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट इन्वेंट्री कॉस्ट विल बी हैविंग ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट एंड कैरिंग कॉस्ट इट मे हैपन दैट वी आर गेटिंग डिस्काउंट रॉ मटेरियल्स एट डिस्काउंट सो वी मे ऑर्डर इट ऑन बल्क बट द क्वेश्चन इज इफ यू आर ऑर्डरिंग इन बल्क वेयर विल वी स्टोर द इन्वेंट्री दैट इज रॉ मटेरियल्स वी हैव टू स्टोर इट इन वेयर हाउस नाउ इन दिस केस आवर वेयर हाउसिंग कॉस्ट विल गो अप वेन वेयर हाउसिंग कॉस्ट गोज अप देन एवरी टाइम वी हैव टू रिमूव द रॉ मटेरियल्स फ्रॉम वेयर हाउस एंड वी हैव टू डिलीवर इट टू द फैक्ट्री वेयर द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग विल टेक प्लेस हियर आवर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट विल ऑल्सो गो अप सो ईच एंड एवरी कॉस्ट विल हैव एन इम्पैक्ट so inventory cost we have to balance by using one method which is known as economic order quantity we have to order only that much which is required by the company next is reduce lead time now what is lead time basically lead time is a time gap between placing an order and receiving an order when a customer places an order he expects the delivery should be done quickly if the delivery time extends customer dissatisfaction level will start increasing customer will not be satisfied for example when we go to a restaurant or when we go to mcdonalds we order anything we expect the delivery should be done very quickly otherwise dissatisfaction level will go up and we may not get good feedback from the customer next is minimizing variances variances means if a customer is ordering one product and we are delivering some other product there will be big variance the variance will start increasing so what customer is expecting and what we are delivering if it is not same that will lead to variance so we have to minimize the variance because eventually it will lead to customer dissatisfaction and finally ensuring on time delivery very important each and every customer expects that the product should be delivered on time for example if i am ordering something on swiggy i expect the food to be delivered quickly because it is related or it is connected to my appetite i will go on the next slide next slide is functions of supply chain management first point is defining business boundaries and relationships now supply chain as we saw it starts from the manufacturer and it goes till customer so we have to define the boundaries like customer is available across the country or you can say across the globe can we cater to all the customers so we have to define the boundaries whether we can cater only to a particular area or a particular state or a particular country second is managing demand and supply now today's market as we know demand is continuously happening are we able to manage it for that we have to make sure that goods are available with us so that we can supply it regularly and meet the customers demand third is logistics logistics will cover topics like transportation warehousing material handling and packaging in fact we can extend it to inventory management and information technology together they will form our logistics next is purchasing purchasing is getting the raw materials or rather i will say getting the right quality of raw materials from the supplier or vendor so we have to select the vendor who can supply us right quality of raw materials continuously because ultimately if the quality is not good of raw materials the quality of output will not be good selling the goods which are made will be sold to the ultimate customer so we should also know whether the product is demanded in the market or no if we are going for an outdated product then definitely it will be very difficult to sell the product manufacturing manufacturing is making the product so we can make the product in house or we can outsource it so depending on the cost if making the product is less expensive we will make it in house or we will outsource it and lastly product design now today also you can see most of the customers are attracted towards design of a product for example mobile phones you can see nowadays mobile phones are having different designs that is just to attract the customer if the design or packaging part is taken care your sales can have a positive impact next we will see participants of supply chain management totally there are six participants starting from supplier 
that is supplier getting the raw materials from the supplier then the raw materials will go to manufacturer manufacturer will convert it to semi finished goods or finished goods then it will go to wholesaler then distributor then retailer and then to final customer so ultimately our main aim is to make sure that the product is delivered to the customer on time and customer is giving a very good feedback to us thank you we will continue with next topic in next lecture